Hey y'all, welcome back to Lady Balls and Mom Bags Podcast with your girl Peaches Hernandez. And your girl Boss Lady Lou. And K Crazy. Yes, welcome to our Sunday podcast. How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. I took a nap. So I'm ready for today. Okay. (laughs) Naps are always lit. Yes. Actually, I stopped at the gas station first, but... But that's not what I was about to say. I seen this motherfucking lady in the gas station. She had 37 inches of baby hair. And that shit pissed me off instantly. I thought you was finna say it was tickling her ass crack. And you going down the forehead. I hate that. <laughs> I, no. Like her shit was like connected. Sheesh. I don't mind baby hair. I have natural baby hair. Brush my shit up. Just because I don't, I'm not good at all that. But I feel like when you get to a certain age, bitch, you should let that go. When your baby hair is turned five, it's time to go. Girl, them shit, and then they was crusty and like hard. Like you could tell she just like kept she playing. she had them a couple of days ago and just left them. And just couldn't put, just kept putting spritz and shit on them. Like, girl, let that shit go. That's oh. why your forehead ate the fuck so up. So at this point, they <laughs> side burns. People Oof. still use spritz? Girl, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. The okay. girl's person is always going to be something that is. It was in every black home. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, what? we had it. But it, what you it's mean, not yours? We use, I use like <laughs> Raymond Noodle Latchet, so we didn't ever need no spray. <laughs> You know what? It's funny because I always wanted some of those, and my mom was like, "Girl, them is ugly. You will never get those." Ugly as hell. Girl, and then the people that had the blonde ones too, looking like the chicken flavor. Looking flavor. like ramen noodle. Yeah. Nasty. Yes. Nasty. Yeah. It's crazy how you look at stuff from like your childhood. And you're like, "Oh, that used to be so dope," and you look at it like, "Girl, it was a hot fucking mess." Hot ass mess. And now they trying to bring it all back. Like, I like some latches. They have some cute ones, but not the ramen noodle kind. I'm mm. sorry. Yeah, I'm I, the ramen. I'm, I refuse to install them in anybody's head. Like, this <laughs> like, 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 like grow the fuck up. Ain't nobody doing that. Very much so. <laughs> No, but I seen that shit and it irritated me because I'm like, oh, her hair look pretty in the back. And then she, I was behind her and I said, like, ugh. Oh, disgusting. Like, you should have said, I like it. your hair, girl. I can't even be that petty. Like, because I don't, because I know my face was, I don't know, she probably was looking at me like, why the fuck she got her face all turned up? First of all, you too fucking old to be having baby hair like that. Like, that's, I don't. And anybody who's ever done my hair, they will know I am not for no fucking baby hair. At all. Do not. Okay, I've so been what? trying to fight mine. I can't. Yeah, I don't have that. My forehead scooped up in the braids. No, no, it's not. Your forehead's not too big. I just hate that though. Don't slick my shit down, and I hate that. Oh my god, I will get off the whole fucking chair, bitch. Don't ever (laughs) swoop my shit down like that. Ooh, that shit just ooh make my blood. Oh, you just got mad. As hell, like you put. I hate it. I hate it. Cause everybody like you can't just get your hair done. Like I don't mind like a little, you know what I mean. But bitches go way over the top with that shit. It's overkill and it irritates me like bitch be original everybody shit swoop down and shit you go all swoop here you ain't got no edges behind that it's just too much it's fucking too much for me okay so we talking about baby hairs though y'all got girls i don't have girls like do y'all do y'all daughter's hair or do y'all like i mean i know i do your daughter's hair like, when, was the when was the cutoff for you to not do your daughter's hair no more and just start getting it done um because she was getting to an age and my sister my older sister was like girl stop doing that little girl shit to her hair that's it ponytails that's the thing these days that's what i was getting at like what's like what do y'all feel is an appropriate age range for ponytails on the kids now y'all come do naya's hair her hair thick as hell it, it is that, no. girl you're gonna get these twisties and you're gonna be all right and if you got a problem with it you get a job and pay for your own stuff Shit, as long as you mind, you will have ponytails in between times. Okay? I just asked because, you know, when we was growing up, there was not, like, there was no sew-ins and, oh, no. like, frontals and all that no, stuff. No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do no sew-in for her or none of that. I had, yeah. My mom really didn't let me touch my hair until I got to high school. Yes. That's, that's right. yeah. Like, And no. even then, she was like, no, if you're doing too much. Like, she would press it, wrap it, mm-hmm. and I could calm it down occasionally, but my mom was not letting me touch Girl, my hair. Mm-hmm. No. And if my mom was the same way. Like, You're, what? You want to what? Yeah, but mm-hmm. these days you see kids, they out here with lashes and makeup. They and lashes. And get their eyebrows, eyebrows done. And, listen, at Parkside, though, y'all had sixth, seventh grade. I've seen a young nose, girl not. lashes, like, piercings. Like, it's yeah, like, that's a little far from me. Yeah, piercings, the nose yeah. rings, and the eyebrows, and that's yeah. a lot. We wasn't. Even though I was emancipated, and I asked my sister to take me to get a tattoo, she still told me no. She's like, I understand you emancipated, you a legal adult, but I'm still not going for that shit. I had to wait till I was 18. Like, I could have went and found a shop, but I'm like, I want my sister to go with me. She was yeah. not going for it. But um, I feel like 
I'm gonna let my daughter be a, a kid as long as, as long she as can. possible because yeah. they grow up so fast. These people, things. like, listen. So somebody was like, "You babying your daughter? You let her still play Barbies? Like, she's what you want her to be on TikTok twerking? Like, no, nah, I don't go for that, baby girl. I'll tell you, I'm I'm on TikTok because I'm grown as hell. I'll be on TikTok all day. But you for what? What? You don't need There's to be nothing on, on TikTok. The internet period for kids unless they doing like some schoolwork. And baby, and I'm right there. I'm not yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope. 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 YouTube out of control. Like you gotta really monitor. Like even sometimes with the kids stuff, um, like that YouTube kids stuff mm-hmm. be getting by on that. So like you gotta really be careful with what you be letting. Yes. If it ain't cartoonized, and sometimes even still, you still yeah, have to you, you, you gotta, gotta be careful with that. And then, so when the fuck is Mark Zuckerberg coming off of fucking maternity leave? Because, because first of all, I watched like four Watch My Stories. Y'all nasty. Why you keep clicking on them? First of all, that's none of the business. <laughs> I'm nosy and I kind of want to see what they be doing. But I shouldn't Only be in Facebook. Fans? No, it's Facebook. Just go to Facebook. I seen some shit on there. Some shit. And one of my Facebook friends, sis be posting all of them. I'm like, how in the fuck is you? Whoa. What friends you got that I ain't? <laughs> she freaky. I be watching She's stuff a very like, freaky girl. Not hey, saying cheers. like that, but. I just want to know cheers. how I'm still in warning. It just. <laughs> no. I'm not spilling this this liquor with you today. No, another thing that bothers me though. Why the fuck is Beyonce ticket so high? Who? Beyonce. Who is that? You a beehive? You not part of the beehive? Who is that? I'm not a, like I like Beyonce, but I'm bitch. I'm not about to sell no blood. Or I ain't titty. gonna sell my soul to come to the concert. Point. Cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna still have to go back to the house after I'm paid. For to go to the show, the lights gonna be cut off. Ain't no groceries. No, it's crazy, and people really going like nuts over that. I seen a screenshot where this late this girl was talking to her. I'm assuming it was her boyfriend. They was talking. He's they were saving up for a house. I saw that. Yeah, they were saving up for a house. So she, she said she wanted her her part of the money that they were saving back so she could go to the concert. And it wasn't even a lot of money. I was like seven hundred dollars or something. I was broke up with her. He told her. He told her. <laughs> To uh, have fun, yeah. Cause she the the engagement was canceled. That's stupid though. But people's morals, like yeah, like I'm not paying that much. Nobody, like I wanted to go see Chris Brown again, again, and they was like, oh, a thousand dollars meet and greet. I'm not paying no man a thousand dollars for shit if we ain't going to the room afterwards. Okay. If I give you a thousand dollars, I own your black ass. Not for the night, <laughs> not for the weekend, nigga. We go together. We go for life. Real 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 bad. You changing bad. your last name to Hernandez, okay? <laughs> Period, peaches. Cause it's crazy because people really like doing it. Like I really wanted to see Chris Brown up and close, and I probably would have been in jail for like rape. No, I wouldn't have took it that far. Like a little groping, a little aggravated assault. You, you know, might as like, well. I mean, if you paying to meet him, why nah, not he get like a he got feel? Got like something like what? He what? People like he got the itchies. Yeah, he I do. mean, I don't know. I just want to just the picture so I could be like, look, put it up in why my house. Why you think Rihanna left him? Because probably he beat her ass. That's why. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> she whooped. He whooped the hell out of Rihanna. Just Rihanna, 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 whatever her name is. Now she would um face up. Yeah, that pretty man. As soon as possible. <laughs> like, is that a compliment or are you being funny? No, that's what he'd be saying. He like that pretty motherfucker. Like, really? You never heard that? No, is he gay? Well, he can't be with her. No, that don't mean nothing. nothing. Very true. <laughs> Jinx. But, mm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. He don't be saying that he that pretty motherfucker. I, don't, I ain't never heard that. But I don't, I don't listen to A-Sat I mean, Rocky. but I'm a music person. I listen to all, like, everything. Yeah. Like... I've been driving to work van lately, and they be having the country stations program, so I just be listening to it. You can't change the radio? I can. Oh, but you like, fuck it, I'm in here. That's I'm just too I'm much in a fun. van full of white kids. Why Why am I going to change it? <laughs> you ain't going to play no soda, baby? They might in my like ear. that. Oh, in my ear, bud, I sure will. Like, they might like that. I will I'm fuck straight. the party up with my dance move. The kids like, what is she talking about? We listen to, to uh, uh, what is it called? Whiskey Tears or Tennessee His- Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah. She said whiskey <laughs> Tears. <laughs> Somebody right. crying and drinking. I know that much. Wow. Yeah. But what I realized is that a lot of the country music that I listen to is like the rap music that black people. It's, it's like over equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. The beat different. Yeah. They using different they words, but yeah, they got crackers. Like, oh, have you ever met a meth dr- a meth heads. dealer, a black meth dealer? I've never met a I meth mean, dealer. I'm not going to incriminate myself. <laughs> I'm just playing. You really think I'm you know somebody? Playing. No, I don't. I don't. I don't be out here. In these I don't know. Damn, like what's up with the side eyes? 
I don't know this. I'm not going to jail for nobody. If they ask me, I'm I don't know them. any meth dealers. I was joking. I kid. I kid. Anyway. Okay, change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really believe all that, but that ain't none of my business. I ain't. Worried. I don't know any meth dealers, but I just know you know of a house that is no longer existing because you know they burnt it up <laughs> doing meth. Was a whole meth. That's white people shit right there. No, it's, a, it's it white people really that white do people. meth. It, it, it's some black people that do meth, and you you can spot them. Spot them. How you spot them? If they got acne and no teeth. <laughs> no, for real. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. Like I work at the hospital. Black people. I listen. So I work at the hospital, and mm-hmm. I work on a prison unit. And I had this one guy. He was black, and I'm like, damn. Like, what kind of drugs were he doing? Cause I ain't never known nobody do crack. They like he a drug addict. Cause he was a parole violator. They picked him up. He smoked his kneecaps off with that meth. He ain't had not one drop of tooth. Not one drop of tooth. <laughs> not <laughs> one. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. And I'm like, cause he was in there tripping. They had him locked in the bed. I thought he was in there breakdancing. So I was about to go in that bitch like, take me in, cause take me in. <laughs> but he was coming off his high, and I'm like. They like, yeah, he posit- uh, tested positive for meth. I was appalled. I had to call somebody like, did you know oh, black no, people did question. meth? I had a question. Mm-hmm. He was on the prison unit. Mm-hmm. He was blacked up. Yeah. But he was he had meth in the, in the prison? He was a parole violation, and they picked him up. Instead of them taking him straight back to prison, they was like, oh, oh you got to oh, go okay. to the hospital, dog. You tripping? He and that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> He's like, yeah, Damn. see that dog? I'm like, what dog? Over there. Here come my grandma. <laughs> it's just me and you here. I know I ain't your grandma. I got a couple of grades, but don't do me like that. Dang. And they was like, I'm like, what's wrong with him? I'm like, what are you tripping like that? Like, maybe hearing what? He was like, no, he do meth. I'm like, what? First of all. He had to be down real bad to, be, to go that road. I can't keep up with the drugs no more, to be honest. I don't know which I one is. I don't know. I don't, don't think. I keep up with them. That's what I'm saying. I feel bad it's for people that have. Yeah. yeah. No. Crack. You crack. Crack. There's crack. There's crack and there's weed. Yeah, that's it. That's all. <laughs> no, it's different, baby. I done seen some shit. Like, whoa. Like, working at the hospital make you realize, like, I don't care how bad my depression get, baby. I'm never going to do no crack. I'm never going to smoke no heroin or whatever the fuck. What's the stuff that go in the iron? Heroin. Okay. All right. Like, Since we talking about drugs, I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there. The whole uh, perk 30 Are you trend. okay? <laughs> perk 30. I just love the perk 30. If I'm you not- have a problem and you would like help, please call. I don't know the number for the, no. <laughs> for the drug hotline. But I feel like people, like, they, they made the song and stuff, but, like, I don't want to feel like that. Like, yeah, why is that a trend? Like, ain't perks, like, supposed to be in a crackhead? Pretty much, because I dated this guy, he had sickle cell, and I never knew, like, I heard of perk 5s, perk 10s, you know what I'm saying? I never knew it was a thing called perk 30. He was like, if you took one of these, it's a kill you. I'm like, what? And you take these on the regular? That's sad. It's but really- what was wrong with him? He had sickle cell. Oh, okay. So, like, seeing him in crisis, like, I could see why he would take something like that, but, mm-hmm. like, he'd be, like, so high, and he'd just be like, I'm like, I don't like this. And I felt bad because I'm like, I didn't want to break up with him, but it was just like, it was too much. So, yeah. But that was another story for another time. But, anyways, it's just you have to do the drugs the and have fun. Yeah. But no, I'm going to say this and I'm probably going to piss some people off, but I really don't care. Like, they say that, like, the heroin is a, an opiate. It's like, a, oh, it's so sad. It's a pandemic. Yeah, I ain't care when crack came through the 80s. I wasn't in the 80s. I'm not saying I, was, I wasn't born in the 80s. I ain't no, no crack I'm just baby. Saying, I ain't a crack baby either, but I'm just saying people be like, oh my God, I can't believe it's so sad. All people doing heroin and popping pills. I'm like, niggas was smoking crack in the 90s and the 80s and it wasn't that bad of a thing, but now we got to be all sad. It actually was though. Like, but I'm just, you know. We just wasn't around to care. Oh well. That's why there's a lot of, you know, nonsense going on now because they all crackhead babies and, you know, they don't know no better. They're kind of slow and, you know, that's that's why the world is the way it is. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> we are against those rappers. I don't know. I ain't going to worry about it, though. But you know what? I don't do drugs. That's all I can focus on. I'm Crack is what? I'm scared to do drugs. I ain't even going to lie. Remember? I, I, I did. I ate an edible and I thought I was dying. That was dangerous. Okay. They are dangerous. So listen. So I woke so, up and I was in Detroit at a Trace in a club and Trace Songs was there. I got pictures of them. They bloody as hell, but I got. Pictures and you don't even remember. Songs. You just got. Pictures. So you just woke up. So you drove like. I didn't even drive. I was supposed to drive, but I couldn't drive. I was. I was out of there. knocked out. Out of there. Um. Somebody gave me an edible once, and I didn't know, and it hit me, and I was out in public. I was <laughs> so fucked up. Did you cry? No. I'm like, man. 
why do I feel this way? They're like, why are you rubbing yourself? I said, I don't know, I just feel good. Like, I feel good. Man, I was high. Then I was like, I gotta go home. And I just sat in the car for like 30 minutes like, how the fuck am I gonna get home? Who can I call to come get me? And they be like, so why can't you drive? Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want nobody in my business, but I made it home by the grace of God. Man, I was high for like three days. See, no. Yeah, the edible highs is different. I've Man. never had an edible, and I'm not trying to have one. No. I got, I got you. No, definitely. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I woke up in the club, and Trey Songz was there. What kind of edibles was you Yeah, right. I want okay, that kind so of edibles. Okay, so it's not, it wasn't nothing special. I just ate too much of it. Oh, yeah, I don't do Mar- I don't do Mary you Jane. Don't do you don't do marijuana. You don't do Mary Jane. <laughs> no, I don't do none of that. Yeah, I don't blame you. Don't My brother was like, "Here, Lonnie." That's right. Okay, Miss <laughs> Goody Tissues. I don't do drugs. I, I don't, don't do like drugs. It. Drug weed is not drug. Marijuana is legal in the state of Michigan for all of our foreign subscribers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Real people be doing way worse shit. Exactly. We could be out here shooting up heroin, and we ain't. No, don't, that, don't say don't don't say we like like she been speaking French all day. I'm yeah, because I'm gonna need for you to fix that. Don't say we like it's a group thing. Like I'm never gonna be like girl. What so you y'all doing? do heroin? No, but That's what I'm like, saying we could be out here doing that, but we don't. I wouldn't exactly. That's my point exactly. Even if right. you hit me up one day, I'm gonna say, hey, girl, like I'm having a bad day. day. <laughs> like bitch, I'm having a bad what day. You wanna get high? It's corner me. <laughs> like I'm just so crazy. No, you like yeah. You keep going back to this hearing with shit, so I'm kind of a little concerned. But anyways, anyways. <sighs> okay. Uh huh. I'm ready for the summertime. I'm ready to be outside. Period. Yeah, I can't wait for it to be above forty degrees. Okay. Yes, because these little ass cheeks is out. I'm gonna grease them up and it'll be outside. Days to do. Suns out, buns out. Okay. Baby. <laughs> I'm gonna drink to that. Yes. If you don't want your daddy to have a new wife. Lock his ass up in the house because I'm coming for him. I'm gonna be where I am always, making this sh- money. <laughs> I mean, you gonna do? You gonna be open 24 hours? You gonna take a little Not break? 24 hours, but you know when I go home, I do go to sleep. I be tired, most. Yeah. I be tired. Yeah, I feel you. I, feel I don't you. know. Summers just don't be summer like they should unless we don't I... be vacationing. Yeah, you know what? I would love to go back to like being in high school, just like one one more summer, and like do the house party thing. Which summer? Yeah. Like, I say my, like, sophomore year, I think I had the most fun. Like, okay. honestly. What did that consist of? Like, we I'm going to have agree, because that summer was late. And I didn't even do that summer, but summer? I was a junior that year. Yeah. Oh, you but all my friends was older, though. So I was hanging with, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we going to the house party, my, you good, da, da, da. I'm like, I was yes. hanging out with them all eight niggas. Oh, he was out here. Oh. I'm from Albion. I can't relate. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> no, so I was on Instagram. I don't do Instagram like that. I hate Instagram. It's very fucking unorganized. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I hate Instagram. Anyway. Dang. But I had got a little request from, like, my high school crush to follow me. Mm-hmm. Baby looked like wife, life whooped his ass. He looks rough. <laughs> Always. Rough. Like, he had no hair. He had got fat as fuck. Now you want to be in my inbox? No, sir. <laughs> I wanted you when you were skinny. I don't want to fuck now. Fuck Dang. out of here. <laughs> Dang. And like, is your high school crush still cute? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you married. I ain't asking you. He ain't really changed. <laughs> Day. <laughs> I don't want to get you in trouble. You're not about to get me like I don't I, get in trouble. I don't think he would mind me talking about a high school crush. You know, he he know where it's at. Like, I mean, very true, but he ain't gonna run up on me at Walmart like, yeah, you was asking my way about a high school crush, bitch. Like, first of all, I don't even want that type of energy in my life right now. I just don't. I don't want him like, yeah, you can't hang with that bitch no more. That bitch is a problem. Wow. Like, nah, I don't want that problem. Like, nah. But I was sad because I'm like, I seen the name and you know, I got to click. It really like wasn't a good picture. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I looked at him like, damn. Ooh. You, had to, you had to scroll a little bit. I said, life whooped your ass and after graduation. But that question is like not real. It's like y'all really only had one crush like your four years in high school. Hell no. I had That's what I'm saying. So who do you answer that question about? Like, what, you just No, I'm just saying, but like he was like. I was a freshman when I, like, his locker was next to mine. Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, my God, he is so cute. And I used to just be, like, so quiet. Like, oh, my God. That was her favorite one. Like, oh, my God. That's you back when I, like, yes. Like, freshman you believe year? that? Like, freshman year, I was very antisocial. Like, because, like, it was, like, the summer after my mom passed and I was okay. real, like, okay. 
All right, hey, something wrong with her? She don't talk. I don't know. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I got something to say. But um, yeah. And you like, never stopped after that. Huh? Show did me. <laughs> Y'all gonna hear me, okay? I got a lot to say. Yeah, so I used to have like this big crush on him. I'm like, oh my god, he's so cute. He's so funny. And now he big and bald headed. I'm like, god damn. <laughs> Dang. Like, at least I stayed fat. Like, I wasn't skinny, then got fat. You know how some people do that? And they be yeah. like, no, I seen this girl the other day too from high school. I ain't seen her in years. Baby got wide, like, all outside. I'm like, girl, who are you eating? <laughs> I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. <laughs> Not saying like people go through life, you gain weight, lose weight, and stuff. But, but like yeah, I remember her because she was mean as fuck, and I'm like, oh karma, karma ate her ass up, man. Not enough. <laughs> she ate karma. <laughs> yeah, karma. She swallowed karma. that bitch whole. <laughs> I said, damn. <laughs> and I don't go nowhere. <laughs> I'm saying, I seen her. I'm like. Like, what's it, oh, what's it, uh, it's me, it's just a couple of years. Like, that's what I felt like she was like. I said, damn. And I wanted to say something to her because she was me. Like, and I'm not no type to be bullied. Like, you're not going to bully me. But like I said, my freshman year, I was quiet. I went through a lot of shit. And like, I know how to like be. You know what I'm saying? And like, she's like, she must be slow. She don't talk. And then I seen that bitch. I'm like, karma, got your motherfucking ass. You got double chins. You got back titties. She was huge. I was like, ain't that funny? This <laughs> bitch, you guys. I need some tissue. Y'all got me drinking. No, but it's just good. Like, when you like. I'm just saying, like, I seen her. I'm like, damn. Like, you know how, um, Will Smith was on Bad Boys. He was like, damn, I was like that. And I'm like, whoa. Give me a You really crying. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I'm just saying, it was That's just crazy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 but Why am I cut? Uh, yeah. My eyes black. No. Okay. Let me change the subject again because that's what I'm good at. Okay. What y'all doing for spring break? Wait, before we change the subject, because me wiping off this mascara got me um thinking about this conversation we've been having about wanting to be more girly. I don't have time. I that's all that too. part. First of all, I gotta be at work at 4 40 in the morning. Baby, I'm not getting up and putting up on no mascara. Any woman that do that, shout out to you. You looking cute, do you? For real. But I'm about to go deal with old fucking people. I'm not about to be cute. I like, usually put my mascara on right? around mid, around lunchtime. I work in dialysis. I don't want nothing to wash it in. <laughs> they might write you when they will. <laughs> <laughs> nothing works. I mean, that was the ideal man, but I want to be out and about with Bill. Like, yes, look at Sugar Daddy Bill, you know. Out here, cash money, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. like the pay, well, hell no. Nah. No, nah. hell no. Nah. <laughs> nah. I don't think I could do it. Like, nobody from my job. Cause you see them all the time, it would be like no break. Like the point of having a sugar daddy is somebody you hide from people. And but if you got enough money, you ain't got to be working at that job. Girl, I'm always have my money because you never know. Period. You never but you go get another job is what I'm getting. At. I like what I do though. Oh. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I you like can it. see yourself retire from your job? No. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm gonna be famous one day. You I'm like working it, on. I love it, huh? Yes, I like it, but it she she it ain't my everything. It don't, you know. It don't get me off like, girl, yes, we about to go ahead. And I'm, I love it. Like, mm -mm. it's not for Maya like that. Spring break, I'm getting the fuck out of Jackson. I have not I figured out what I want to do, but I got to get out. I got the time off. I took the time off before I even made a, a, a reservation or anything. We're not going to be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even give a fuck if I got to go to uh, Indiana or something. Bitch, I'm not going to be in Jackson, Michigan. I know that much. I'm trying to figure my life out so we can do something fun. Yes. We don't really have much here in Michigan like that or Jackson. So it's kind of sucky. Like, mm. I think this is There's my PSA music. to the clients that I'm, I'm taking I'm taking some time off for vacation. <laughs> I don't care. I already got my appointment, so. Sorry for the other ones. Sheesh. I'm just There's some about museums, like a museum tour I kind of want to do. Where? I think it's here. In, in Jackson? Jackson? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there's museums? one, there's a museum in Grass Lake, and then there's the one at Ella Sharp. But there's like a couple other places. But like, what kind of museum is at Ella Sharp? Well, you talking about like the Underground Railroad one? I don't want to do that. <laughs> at Ella Sharp? No, the museum in Grass Lake is a train museum. I don't oh, want to like see no damn trains. 
Well, maybe the tour isn't for you. I'm just saying, if it's like Chris Brown and Sada Baby, I'm all for that train. But oh it. my god, I'm gonna say that's not a new thing. <laughs> in my mind, it is. I'm gonna wow. go to the uh, what's the that one in Detroit? Henry Ford. Is that what it is? No, it's the African American one up there too. Yeah, it's that's really the nice. one. I they make you one. rethink life though. Yeah. Like, damn, that's so fucked up how they had people like back in the day. Like, I'm glad I was born when I was born because I don't think any time before. The year I was born, I was about to slip up and tell you how old I was, but they ain't none of y'all business. <laughs> but did. I don't think y'all know, but they don't know. They ain't none of their damn business. Okay. But I don't think I could live like, I just, I don't think I could have did it. Like, I would be dead as fuck. We say that all the time, but if we was born in that era, I don't think we like would have had a choice. Like, I mean, yeah, you might not have, you, you, you wouldn't have had a choice, but I'm like... I wouldn't like I couldn't. Shout out to our ancestors for giving us the opportunity to. Oh yes, Black History Month. Black History Month. Yes, yes. Happy Black History Month. We should start. We should have wore our shirts. Well, good thing in February we got a couple more days left for us. Over. Yeah, yeah. We definitely do. We gotta get you a shirt so we can wear them at the same time. We gonna wear matching shirts? Yeah, we got. Is it yellow? Yellow shirt. Yellow. My black is, be- my black black is, black is beautiful. My black is beautiful. Girl, I'm all with it. Just let yeah. me know. And I get my little hair wrap and stuff. I'll be ready. Oh, wait. She going kind of fire. I don't know if I can do a hair wrap. You're not, you're not living in the moment then. Not really oh, I said I don't know if I can do a hair wrap while my Right. I mean, I wasn't going to talk about you, but I was going to talk about you. <laughs> I think it's kicking it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's that daddy. It's that shit on that shit, y'all. Need to leave that dope alone. I am tipsy. Everybody, hey, I tipsy. think that's part of like good parenting relief, though, being able to get oh, out. Get drunk. And, I mean, just anything, like you know, just being away from the kids, let loose. I can turn that mom mode off for a minute. Yes, yes, I love it. Cause like what? I love it. <laughs> she like she closed her eyes. She was reminiscing, like yes, yes. But was yes. she? I don't know, but she, I felt it though. I looked at her and I could tell you, that moment. You just felt the relief. Yes. Right yes. yes. Like, I love Oh, you them. did have a hot day. Because, because. If you say because one more time, I'm going to be upset. Because. Because, listen. Oh my God. <laughs> 30 days in a month, I have at least. One child, 28 of those days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Like, I Even at work. Damn. That's what I mean. Like, you couldn't, like, switch them to another school. You just want to go to their school, too. Like, I I just, I mean, I got two jobs. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, and, like, I get what you're saying, like, because I am a single mother. And, like, I appreciate my daughter's grandparents because they're very active and they're very helpful. And Shout out to them. Even if I don't do nothing on the days they have her, it's nice to just sit at home and just like <laughs> do nothing. But you don't gotta hear mom. Let me tell you a knock knock joke and the joke ain't funny. Like, girl, what? <laughs> like <laughs> Or she'll tell me something like I love her. She'll tell me something crazy and I'm like, Damn, that happened at school today? Like I like don't give me a watch this. Like, yeah. Or like let me do show you. Do you watch when they say watch this? Mom, you're not looking. <laughs> Like, yes, I am. I'm trying to cook and Mom, do laundry. Look, look at this, Mom. Mom, look at this. <laughs> Mom, look at me. <laughs> Don't do her like that. Don't do her like that. Don't do her like that. Like, I love it, but, like, sometimes it's nice to be, like, I be feeling bad, though, like, when I go do stuff by myself. Like, the other day, I went and sat and had dinner by myself, and I'll just sit in the corner, people watching and stuff. Like, mm, they over there in the corner tucked and duck. I'll bet you that ain't her, man. I just be making up scenarios and shit, like, hmm. Oh, Lord. They freaky. Who the fuck goes to Applebee's at 9.30 at night? Mm-hmm. On a Monday. We do. On a Monday? <laughs> by themselves on Monday? I've never been no. out to eat by myself. Really? Never. It's you fun. You should try it. Never. You should try it. It is. Like I said, I, I don't sit at the bar. I don't want to sit at the bar. Put me in the corner. I want people watch. I love the people watch. Because I be making up shit. I be naming people. Like, look at Barbara over there. Bruh. Man, look at her and dance. She be having these conversations with herself. <laughs> I, it's nothing wrong with that. I ain't crazy. I ain't like and I they had probably like, be talking to each other like, hey, look at this one. <laughs> they probably do, but I'm just saying, I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> they look suspicious as hell over there. Like, I don't know. That's my type of fun because I can't go out and be a gang member. I like to be in bed early. <laughs> I mean, you got to get up before the birds decide. Man, I'm out yeah, here. for real. 
I'll be up before the crack is do. I do they go to sleep? Crack you know, really? You gotta take naps sometimes. <laughs> Did they back at you? Back at you. I'm back. <laughs> 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 and the quarter did to this shit. <laughs> no, so listen. It's always, oh, I go to work at 4.30, 4 o'clock sometimes in the morning. It's always this one crackhead at this gas station I go to. He's like, good morning, you up early again? Like, you up? Did you up sleep? He's like, no. Oh. Like, well, I don't know why he be doing that, though. Like, you ain't got no hat on. Like, why are you doing that? Like, oh, wow. Do it like, again. Like, good morning. I don't even know what his name is. Yeah, but. What hat? That part, like. The one in his head. And it's just crazy because he be there every day. Is he older? Yeah, what yeah, that's ain't no young like for real crack is. I mean, like I mean like real crack. Like, like the one. Okay, so the I just had a conversation with my cousin the other day, and he was saying that he worked in this group home, and it's a, a what do you say, a recovering addict that's in the group home. Mm -hmm. But like he not mentor or nothing. Like he don't have no issues. So everybody in the addict. Does? Hmm. Yeah, like it's a legit group home. Oh, how the hell did he end up in one of those? He an addict. His mom, I don't know, she finessed, but he like thirty something. I would hate that though. Like this, this dude uh, got some drugs in the house. I mean, and he be selling them. No, I but hope no, he don't be selling them. He sell them, but he asked one of the other dudes if he wanted some. Like this, and that's how he got caught. <laughs> wow, now he snitched on him. Don't he know snitches get stitches? But I mean, no, to the offense, it's a group home. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, with him, but the other people are there for yeah, particular for reasons. Like, of course they go say something like, "What? I know you ain't supposed to be doing that. And I know that much." I'm just saying. But is it possible though? Like, what? Like, worked at the hospital. Like, I didn't call people smoking crack. I didn't call people doing heroin. I didn't call people smoking cigarettes. Like, at the you're hospital? on oxygen and you're smoking a cigarette. Like, I've never understood in that. the hospital. In the hospital. And it's always like at the end of the shift, like you can never do this like when I first get here. But you want to do it like when I'm getting ready to go home, last minute checks and shit. Like, all right, let me go check on my people before I go home. Like, for real? I have 10 minutes left of my shift. Now I got to stay and write a report because you want to be in this motherfucker getting high. Like, ruin my whole little weekend. Dang. I just, I don't know, but. I can't go, I couldn't, I can't go back to the hospital. To work? Yeah. It's like the, the. I don't know, like you just require you mandate that you you can't go when your shift is over. Oh, I don't I don't get down like that, but it's funny because I'm contingent. They're like, oh we need you to stay a couple extra hours. No. Fire me. <laughs> I feel illiterate as hell right now because I don't even know what contingent means. Oh, I only do forty hours a month, baby. I'm getting nothing about my ass extra than that. That's it. Forty hours a week. A, a month. A month. A month. Oh, wow. That's Damn. all you getting from my black ass. Don't ask oh, for that next Contingent is less than part time. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's funny because they be emailing me like, hey, I know you're a contingent girl and that ain't none of your motherfucking business. No, I'm not picking up your hours. I don't even know you. Fuck, email another bitch. Don't email me. I hate How it. you find me? Right, like who the fuck told you about me? Because I don't exist to you. How you find my name? Yes. And it, you know what? I was just about to say something that was going to get me in trouble. Ooh, I'm glad I bit my tongue because, child, I be going up there and I be like, who the fuck hired you? Like, how the fuck did you? For real? Have you ever seen her Snapchats? Yeah, that her taking care of people? <laughs> That's how I know y'all desperate. Anyway, right? we ain't gonna talk about the whole house. Like, that what y'all call it. Yes, I, I'm Madam Peaches at the whole house. I started that shit. These little new hoes, like, hey, we going to the whole house. Bitch, no, you're not. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. You ain't part of my brothel, bitch. Henry Ho hoes. No, I'm Henry's hoes. hoes. Henry's hoes is what I call them. Because I'm the madam in that motherfucker. I would never be one oh, okay. of his hoes. Okay. You gotta be. That's you gotta be above. You gotta be in front of that. She gotta catch up beforehand. Cause if not, they just gonna fuck you over. Mm -hmm. I done finesse the fuck out of them all the time. <laughs> You're not gonna get me. You gotta be the finesser. You cannot get finessed. Right. Like for what? Like no, I just can't. I can't do it. But I'm excited though for next weekend. It's the daddy daughter dance. You going? Can't wait. No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, no, my daughter's going. I'm excited to get her all dressed up and stuff. And then I'm about to hang out. That's what's up. Is we celebrating like birthdays next weekend. Uh-oh. That don't remind me. You got more birthdays, too? 
Mari's birthday. Oh, I'm coming yeah. Sprite. He about to have a man. His party about to be lit as fuck. Cause Mari about to be party. what? We going. We going out. We taking him out. We not Sunday. doing a party. Cash birthday Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I'm saying Mari like 38 though. That nigga party about to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> Bottles all over. Man, no, they drinking cognac. Yeah, Siffy shit. <laughs> Mari ain't drinking no goddamn apple juice. He drinking his apple milk. juice. Nah. <laughs> he will fight you if you try to get him some chocolate milk. Mari do not like chocolate milk. Because he's 37. He lives close to Tyler. He ain't drinking no milk. goddamn milk. <laughs> shit, he, like, he about to fuck up his gal. We tried to do that thing on um, the pickup grocery thing. Mm-hmm. And they gave him the wrong milk. And he was... His. That's why I can't order groceries no more because I gotta make sure he get his right milk. Oh, he lactose intolerant. The fuck? <laughs> what child you know gets upset about milk? What three a year old is getting upset about Do y'all do that grocery pickup though? All the time. I'm a lazy yeah. though. Sure is. <clears throat> Don't let me work all day. I will. Man. No, like, my, this is for older people. Bitch, my money green too. My refrigerator gotta be like empty, empty before I go grocery shopping because I hate it. You ain't doing it. So you gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. Sometimes. Yeah. What's your grocery bill like? Like, how long does it take for your refrigerator to be empty, empty? Oh, well, since none of us are ever at home. Ever. Maybe about a month. I can go grocery shopping like once a month. That's I up. used to, but like now, things can change in my situation. So you go more often? Yes. Like, yes. what's more but often? Like, like, once a week. Yeah. I used to go every two weeks. Like, I when to- when grocery was not as high as it is, and I was packing so lunch for Kyson. expensive. We would go like twice, like every two weeks. And now he gotta eat school lunch, and he he be coming home hungry every day. Cause they apparently they feeding them some some nasty stuff. Man, I mean, I wouldn't fuck with school lunch even when I had to. Like, nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. And then, like I said, no offense, they be hiring anybody, and some of them people look untrustworthy. And I'm not big on eating everybody food. Yes, I'm fat, but I'm picky too. Okay, and. You gotta look a certain type of way to cook my food, like, or you know what I'm saying? Like, you ever seen some of them lunch ladies? Yeah. They don't be having teeth, and I. Hey, our lunch ladies was late. They give me Matilda vibes, like Miss Central. Like, Nay. I sucks to go to a big school. I just can't do it, like, mm-hmm. and I saw like when my daughter like, can I pack my lunch here? Yeah, because I, I know I wouldn't do it. I'm not about to make my kid do something right. I ain't gonna do. The right. Mm-mm. I just can't. I just can't. Um, but Tyson, he get a, a lunch drop off, like Ooh, at least maybe twice a month. Oh wow, must be nice. I don't know. Are you dropping it off? <coughs> are, you, are you dropping it off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, must be nice. Is, the little, it. is it the little big uh, breakfast sandwiches? <laughs> You leave a little note there, mommy loves you. I did. When I would pack his lunch, I would leave notes. I'm not sure about and then he would bring them back home, like, Mom, you put this in my lunch. Like, yeah. It's only us in the house, sir. Who else is going to put this in there? It's a random person writing love notes and putting them in your lunch box. Hey, it could be. I mean, it could be, but that'd be weird as fuck. Very much so. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just ready for some. I'm ready for this weather to be better. I'm ready to be outside. I'm ready to be, you know. Yeah, I guess there's no depression. Like, Hell yeah. Okay. Hell I yeah. think that might be what, yeah. I think that might. It's And it's crazy because I never really paid attention to that. But the older I get, like, bitch, it's cold outside. We sad. We not go, you can't go nowhere. You just can't pop up. You I mean, just you can't can turn. go places, but it's cold as fuck. Who want to keep getting in and out? Girl, I'm not about to put on no boots. You gotta put your boots on, put your coat on, put your scarf on, your hat. Warm this power. At that go point, so far left right now. I'm just saying, but like that's like that's what triggers my seasonal depression. Like, bitch, you gotta put all this shit to go outside. I'm not going no motherfucking where. And you can watch as much TV as you want to. I'll be in the house like, girl, fuck this shit. I'm sad. But no, I'm saying though, it's far. Like when I say it can go so far left, because you know they say like the whole vitamin D D thing from the sun. Yes, vitamin D works great for me. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad to say on the daily a PG podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I'm talking about vitamin D. I I do. I take my supplements every day. (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) Mm, mm, mm. Moving on. (laughs) <laughs> you said so low, so low. And as soon as you said that, it's like scary. Yeah, that, that, that was a whole right turn and then loop de loop thing. Yeah. I don't know, but for real though, like, yeah, I feel like if you take your vitamins and stuff, and I feel like the older you get, you gotta pay attention to yourself. I feel so old saying that, like, girl, yeah, I take but my vitamins real, and my fish oil. But for real. A Did you say of, fish oil? What is fish oil good for? I don't know. I'm not taking that. That shit stinks. That part. Is but, it a gel? Yeah. 
add to some. The only ones I've seen are. I take the black women vitamins. And what are those? Would you like to let's, give us let's a Let's talk now. about that. What are those? I, I know elderberry. Them, exactly. Yes, elderberry is good. It's mm-hmm. fun for you. I don't got heart problems, but I'm fat and black. That's enough against me. I don't feel like I need to fuck around. <laughs> like playing around with that shit. Like, oh, it's good for your heart. Let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead and take one of these just because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then is it um, Macaroo? I've been seeing that. I've seen that, I seen that on TikTok and like I've seen a whole bunch of black people, black ladies. Well, so I said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't know what you hoes talking about, but I'm going to do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, like, do you notice a difference since you take it? It's supposed to help with your moods and like your menstruation and okay, things so like how that. Is it's called macaroo. Yeah, macaroo and it's like finnegan. It's supposed to help with your hair, your nails, and like your. Like, Let's it's just, go to Walmart and get some. I thought you didn't like Walmart. I don't. I don't like Walmart either. What y'all got against all oh, Walmart? First of all, anytime you go in Walmart, they think you stealing that one dude, the manager with the gray hair, or old boy that used to be the little stealing dude, always want to follow me. I ain't stealing, bitch. I got money. I got two jobs. I ain't gonna steal no. And you follow me around, bitch. I ain't got to steal wow. this okay. cheap ass shit. Well, since we're talking about stealing and having money, yes. I went to the hair store yesterday to get beads for my daughter. <laughs> you stole them? I don't. Oh. The uh, one of the workers was behind the counter and he was like, Excuse me, ma'am, check her pockets. <laughs> oh, to you, he was talking oh, to me, but my daughter had put her nail polish in her pocket. Kids will set you up in a heartbeat, they don't give a fuck about you, but she wasn't even trying to, though. She just wanted to make she sure she wanted, yeah, she was just holding it, but yeah. she had her hands in her pockets. Oh, yeah, I mean, I can get that, but that show you they be watching you, yeah, hard like, as hell. Like, why are you so- watching my daughter like that? She three. Right. right, she stole a whole pack of but Brazilian you see that, bundles and shit. You see them shit. pictures though when you first walk in. Yeah. It's a whole lot of kids. They be, you know what? They parents be sending them. Yeah, the exactly, and that's what they it's thought funny was probably as hell. going on. It's we was already in line though. That part. It'd be funny as hell. Like I know her. I haven't seen her before. I'm like, I wonder if she got caught. What did she steal? Did she steal some good shit? You know what I mean? Did she get caught stealing something that it wasn't even worth it? Yes. Did like, y'all used to steal us kids? We Girl, I was scared as fuck. It's my mom. I wasn't stealing shit. Yeah, I, no, I didn't. Play I went to my ear and stole one time, and I got caught, and that was a wrap. Dang, no. I ain't never stole nothing, but it was like I eyeliner, have... like something petty. No, I mm, okay, I will admit to this. Um, I was hanging with some girls, and we was just young. So you trying to blame them for what you did? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Denial. Girl, no, I ain't denial. We stole some shit. And then we went as a group and we had like a watchdog. I'm you know, I was young. And it's funny because one girl was like, Oh, she felt like she was Billy Badass and went by herself and the bitch got caught. And she gonna call us crying like I told bitch I ain't get caught. <laughs> you ended, but you was stealing petty stuff though. That, that's the thing that made me mad. Like I told my mom, What the fuck you tell her for? I ain't I wasn't with you, you was by yourself. <laughs> right. Like, it's not like I would never do it again because I'm like, girl, you know how you young and dumb and you just be doing shit. Yeah. Doing shit. Like, I would have never stole if my mom was alive. Like, girl, I was scared as hell. Mm-mm. Nope. But it's some bitches that be stealing meat and stuff. Like, how do y'all do it? Whole burger pack. Hanging out that culture. If you do, I'm not saying contact me. <laughs> but my number is 517. <laughs> But my name on my other Facebook is Marie Hernandez. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> if you be, you know, you know. You said you you got greens. You got greens too. Your green money work. Shit, I got money. I got blue faces. Whatever you need. I'm just hey, saying. Hey, I don't. Holla at me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Where the real boost is at? I'm just playing. I don't know. I ain't never smart. Uh, I, I ain't never had the conscience to steal nothing. Like I was always scary. I was scary as fuck as a kid. But we did, y'all know how like they used to have the pay phones and stuff in the stories. We mm-hmm. we was playing and called nine one one, and the police showed up, and we still dumbass is still holding the phones when they call. <laughs> like I think everybody <laughs> called the police and stuff. Before. But we was at Kmart though, like at the store, like not at home. We was at the store waiting on you know checkout. Y'all dumb as hell. Y'all was like yeah, I'm <laughs> home. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, and they pull right up on the ass. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got the pay phone at Kmart. Yup, I'll wait. Yeah, that was some dumb shit. Just sitting there, just waiting. <laughs> that's, shit, why, like. that's, that's why I didn't never steal nothing. Because we don't know how to fucking get away with crimes. What the fuck type of shit? Mm-hmm. So if y'all catch our kids doing something like that, though, now, like, what? I would be upset. I would fuck her up. Like, don't ever embarrass me. Like, bitch, I got, I got money. We got money. You got money. Don't do me like that. You got me stealing. No, but it's crazy, though, because, like, I worked at TJ Maxx, and I used to hate some of you hoes. Mamas used to come in there and tear TJ Maxx <laughs> up. I ain't gonna name nobody mama, but now the bitch thinks she bad because she got a little Gucci and all that. But, bitch, I remember you was stealing from TJ Maxx. But getting all the coach shoes, the coach purses. Now nah, y'all bad and bougie. Y'all too good for that. 
Mm-hmm. How was that family dollar? I don't remember what I was getting, but I had my my money with me. And she was like, Mom, can I have some gum? I was like, no, you don't, you don't really need that right now. Mm-hmm. She stood right next to me as I'm checking out and put the gum in her pocket. And walked out. She thought she was walking out with it. Oh. You know. <laughs> no. No, I would be upset, but I don't think my daughter would. My daughter goofy though, like she she's silly. You know what I'm saying? Like I think she like <laughs> like giggle the whole time. Like what you laughing about? I stole some gum. I was like, ah hell no, <laughs> like, I ain't going to jail. <laughs> I'm just like I don't think she is. She's a very good kid though, like yeah. for real, for real. But I don't think so. And then but she be having money, like and she like oh, I tell her no. She's like I got my own money and pull out a whole band. Like what the hell you got all this money from? <laughs> Like, that's her. She love to flex on me. Like, damn, I only got a couple dollars. I don't know. Like, is you working with BMF and stuff? Where the fuck you get all this money Lord from? Jesus. Like, she will. And her, don't. That's don't, good, though. That's good. Don't play with Naya. Don't let her bring her purse either. Oh, I got it. Like, okay. I'm like, yeah. first of all, so I'm in here spending my last and you got all this money? <laughs> Give me that shit. Like, I'll pay you back next week. <laughs> no, but I'll be upset, though, if she did. But I don't think she would. Yeah, she's probably I mean, thinking about it now since we're talking about it. I'm just saying, <laughs> <they> should, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> I mean, baby girl, you can think you can steal all you want to. Just know you're gonna get that woman. Like when kids do stuff, like when adults do stuff, we you know we got to deal with consequences. Please send their ass whatever. to jail. Everybody should but go to when jail. Kids do stuff. They don't get scared enough to not do it again. Does that make sense? Yeah, oh, yeah. It does. It like does. they don't really does. have consequences to deal with. So I mean, oh. That yeah. didn't hurt. I'm just gonna do it again. No like, oh, oh, she gonna whoop me? So what? Like, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. No. Side side track. But like, have you ever been somewhere and your kid has said something to embarrass you, or like you like go somewhere and they like, so. <laughs> My daughter, we was going somewhere and I bumped into somebody. I'm like, oh, I hope she don't ask me to come over to her house because her kids is bad as hell and it's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and I said it. So, like, out loud, she heard me, and then the little girl asked my daughter, like, you want to come over and play? She was like, no, my mom said y'all bad as hell, y'all house nasty. Yep. I was like, <laughs> big snitching. And the mama heard me, she's like, I'll see you later, girl. I'm like, we can still be friends, but I ain't fucking with your house. Like, I was so embarrassed, but then at the same time, I'm like, eh. She needed to know. Yeah. Yeah, because on yeah. that note, I'm going to go home and, and she clean up my house. house. <laughs> she probably should have just went home and cleaned the house. And that's what I'm about to go And do. I know on the last podcast, I said, if the house fucked up, the house fucked up. But it's different from, like, having, like, oh, I did laundry, I worked, and I had a rough week. Yeah. And then being nasty. Yeah. I don't like going to people's There's houses. definitely a difference. Because I be uncomfortable as hell. Like. Stuart and I might come running. I don't like pets. But remember okay. when we was in Los Chase and that the mics was running. Okay, around. yeah, we're gonna wrap it up because we're <laughs> we're not gonna talk about Los Trace tonight. Don't do that because I I fuck with them. No. Los Trace is good. Which wait 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 which one though? It don't matter. It does matter because I mean is we're not talking about it this. Is. Oh, this one over here nasty as hell. Anyway, I heard that many a times, but that's another subject. So how about we go try out a different one and then we'll come back and talk about it next week. I mean, I fuck with the one on West Ave, though. So West Ave, we're going to go have lunch? Yeah, nobody day. goes to this one anyway. This one is weird. This one is close to my house. Yeah, I used to live over here, too. This one's close to my house, but I will go all the way the opposite damn direction. Oh. Well, we're going all the way the opposite direction and then we're going to come back next week. And catch you next week. All right. That's fine. All right. Deuces. Peace, love, and hair Black History Month.